Hi betting experts, on Tuesday the 21st of September we're off to Yorkshire to Beverley on Tuesday. Good ground, competitive racing as usual for the track. They do really well at Beverley, keeping the course in fantastic condition. They get big fields, generally speaking, as a result, and good crowds. We start off with our value angle selection in the 225. This is a Class 4 Joe McLaughlin's 70th birthday handicap, 7 furlongs, 96 yards, 3-year-olds and upwards, £4,428 and off to the winner, 13 runners. Plenty of them are pretty hard to fancy in truth and I like the claims of Michael Dodds's frustrating maiden blowing win. Now this one has run ten times so far. Nine on the turf has yet to trouble the scorers but he's been running with credit in handicaps all summer long. Starting off after 204 days off at Thirsk over six furlongs with a very good second of 14 behind the impressive Barney's Bay and he's held his form since. Stepped up to seven furlongs at York and running a blinder in a much better race under an inexperienced seven-pound cleaner in Aiden Redpath. And then last time, back to Redcar, dropped down to a maiden when he let back us down. He was smashed in the market down to six to four on, but was a shade disappointing there, perhaps paying the price for chasing quite a strong pace up the middle of the track. Um, and just weakening in the last 100 yards or so. He's a lot better than that, and obviously they think it might be temperament-related. They've stuck the blinkers on. He's off a marker 76. Tom Eaves is booked. I think he has to go close to. He's got a draw in six, which is fair in the middle. Shouldn't be any issue at all. I'm hoping he can come through late under a confident ride if the headgear sweetens him up. For our nap of the day, we go to the opening 120. This is the Beverly Annual Badge Holders Restricted Novice Stakes, a five furlong class five for two-year-olds only. £3,888 on offer to the winner. 11 runners. Not many of them have got any chance at all. I think I've got it down between Silky Wilkie of Carl Burks and the one I prefer, Rambuso Creek of the Red Hot Kevin Ryan Yard. Now, this Tagula Cult has run twice so far, both times in the frame, running with credit in decent company, notably last time at Carlisle and third behind Breeze Easy. If you watch that run back, he was pretty well back, but definitely went off far too hard and stopped up the final hill when headed a furlong out. Um, He's better than that. Well, that was over five furlongs, 182 yards. He's back to a really sharp five furlongs here. That will definitely suit him. He's ridden with a bit more restraint by Tom Eves. I think he can get off the mark at the third time of asking. The main danger is Silky Wilkie, who's run four times for Carl Burke, finished second on each occasion. He's been expensive to follow. His form in, in, mainly in small fields and last time at Catterick he was beaten nearly five lengths by Lady of Yappam. Um, that form does not amount to a great deal. I think this is a much better race. Uh, perhaps Silky Wilkie wasn't seen to best effect there, finishing strongly with the winner had already gone, but he's beginning to run out of excuses for him. He's had four runs, whereas Rambuso Creek back to a sharp five here. I'm hoping Tom Eves will spring him out the stalls and make all the running. Best of luck on Tuesday, betting expert.